Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be reacting to My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 9, and dude, uh, before we even get into this episode, alright, in the last episode, my boy Tamaki, aka Sun Eater, finally got to pop off. We've heard that he's a part of this big three. This name, the big three, has popped up so many times throughout this series, and now we're finally starting to see what they're capable of, starting with Tamaki, and he popped off last episode. He single-handedly 1v3'd three of Overhaul's goons, and these weren't just ordinary grunts. These were like the elite. Elites. I believe he has like eight elite bodyguards and he alone took on three of them And these guys had some pretty interesting powers one guy could like steal Things that you had in your hands or parts of you I guess there was another guy that had this like really durable tough like crystal armor And there was a third guy who could just eat anything and digest anything and so he actually ate Tamaki's quirk and Tamaki still popped off beat all of them up and now we're moving on to this episode now ladies and gentlemen we saw in the little ending credit scene that this episode is going to focus on my two favorite characters in all of my hero academia kirishima and fat gum dude these two ever since i heard that season four was coming I was waiting for this exact moment. These two are my favorite characters. They are going to pop off and you are going to see why I love these characters so much. Because I feel like at face value, they have pretty simple quirks, but once you get into the science, the specifics of what they're actually capable of, then dude, they become completely different beasts. And it's like that for a lot of characters. And we're going to see more than just these guys pop off in season four. But these two are definitely my favorites. So without any further ado, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. All right, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will grab your source videos. And because this is such a big video, I will try to get the mega link up as fast as possible. So if you are here a little bit later after it drops, make sure to check the description. See if the mega link is ready. You can check that out. But if not, then you guys can follow along by clicking the first link and syncing your video with me because we'll be starting this in. All right, let me get it ready. OK, three, two, one, go. All right. Octopus poison. When when did he mention that? Dang, Tamaki didn't come out unscathed though. Dang. Is he actually like down for the count? Or is he just exhausted? Dang. Man. Man, this episode, dude. But Tamaki, honestly, before I thought his quirk was pretty much just, you know, whatever he eats, he gets the power of it, but. I thought it had to be edible like this dude ate crystals and he like he had like this chicken crystal claw thing that he whooped them with like his power is actually a lot more diverse than I thought it was like can he just eat anything like I don't know can he eat fire and breathe flames or something like that who knows and I wonder like I'm sure he has like I think he used swordfish so far chicken uh, octopus, but I wonder, like, <laughs> does he have, like, alligator snacks, like, shark snacks? Dude, if I was him, I'd have everything under the sun, dude. If lion treats were a thing, like, edible lion, no, nah, that, that sounds kind of weird, actually. I don't think there's anybody that eats lion, but I think it'd be pretty sick to get that kind of power if I was him. <sighs>
All right. Oh yeah, and also Meteo. Oh yeah, um, one of Overhaul's guards. He had a power that let him sink into the hallway and kind of control it, twist and turn it, to steer them off course. And Midorio's the only Midorio, Meteo, <laughs> is the only one that can walk through walls and get straight to the objective. Maybe it's because we're not going the right way. Oh, it's a good point. Uh And we took him out. Uh? Okay, so that must have been him, that shadow racing along the wall. Okay, so he was a bit more honorable. Ah, oh. and since he passed, or he's gone now, Shisaki took over, and they were just inherently working under him, but they don't necessarily like him. Oh, and here he is, back into the equation. Oh! Fat gum, my boy! Oh, dang! There's gonna be someone waiting for us here, isn't there? Oh, snap. Dude, the dynamic duo. It's about to happen. I wonder if they can cover it all in this episode alone. Oh, man. My boy. It is time, dude. And he's hardened already. Dang. And Fat Gum is eating those hits. Look at him, still standing tall, dude. Dang. Oh! He broke through it. Dang, his skin started cracking off. Red Riot. It's time, man. And we're just getting into the episode, dude. We're only six minutes in. Oh, I remember. Yeah, he didn't come out here to be outnumbered. Ugh. Man.
Just imagine, like, his punches, we saw the damage that it did to Kirishima. And Fat Gum is eating these hits. Not particularly well, but he's still standing. Yup. Let's go! Don't give up yet, Kirishima. The fight's only starting. What a great fat guy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Rapa, dude. Over jerk? <laughs> dude, this guy is just like a rebellious teen that never got out of the phase. Just always looking for a fight. Here he goes. Yeah, if we gotta take him out, get rid of his defenses. Fat Gum is getting serious now, dude. Ooh, who's gonna give up first? The spear and the shield. All right. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that. He's trying to hold on, but... Rappa's slowly getting through to him. A snap. Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> Dang, he's still keeping his hands up though. That's smart. Even in this intense situation. Dang. It's gonna take something big to snap him out of this. Flashback time? Oh, yep, looks like it is. Young Kirishima, dude. <laughs> this was back in the early stages of his hardening. Yeah, this is where his name comes from. Oh, snap!
What? What is even going on? How did she... What? How did she turn that into a little breakdance session? What the heck? Dang. <laughs> Dude, I respect it though, man. He's grinding out here. Trying to refine his quirk. Yeah, he's definitely decided. And this is the root of it all. Him wishing he had a flashier quirk. Not believing in his own quirk. Who is this monstrosity? And how does no one notice this? Oh. Now they notice. Dang, calm down, man. And Mina, of course, first one to run in there. Look at that. And okay, I'm not sure if she was 100% afraid, but having the guts to run in there is. Yep, yep, okay. This is exactly what it takes to be a hero, dude. Even if you're like scared to death and your heart is racing, having the bravery to run out there and do something, anyways. That's what it takes. And Kirishima needs to remember that right now. That's why it's so important that he had this flashback. Mm-hmm. Midoriya. Dude, this is what it's all about, man. Like, even if you have the worst quirk in the world, even that dude that could, like, make leaves, going out there and at least doing something is better than standing there and watching on the sidelines and doing nothing. Oh, dang, Kirishima's kind of a weeb. <laughs> or I guess those are more comics than, like, manga.
Mm-hmm. Dude. This is so key right now. To anyone looking to become a hero, but especially Kirishima right now. This is exactly what he needed to hear. Yup, he's decided. We're going to UA, boys. Look at him, dude. Now he's grinding, grinding. Before he was just grinding, you know? But now he's grinding. Like he's out here, dude, working hard. <laughs> Let's go. Remember this, Kirishima. You gotta go back to this mindset. <laughs> Dude, it's hard not to ship these two, honestly. Especially because they have history together. Now it's time! Get a grip! <laughs> dude, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, dude. Oh! Here it comes! <laughs> mm hmm. Mm-hmm. The stored up attacks. Let's go! Dude. Rapa is not ready. Yeah. Oh, snap! We're back in the game now! And he's taking these hits a lot better than before. Yep. We gotta go above and beyond, dude, plus ultra. And of course... Man, ah, uh, dude, if he wasn't there, man. <laughs> dude, fat gum isn't so fat anymore. Dude, oh my god, dude. I'm telling you, man. My boy Thin Gum out here, bro. Man, dude. I told you guys from the start. If I could have any power, it'd be something like Fat Gums, dude. Just like... The fact that... I'll get into this in the end discussion. We'll just talk about it there. Alright, so my boy Fat Gum. Now I'm pretty sure you guys get his power now, but pretty much he's able to absorb all of the damage that he's taken, and then he can focus all of that power into an attack, like a punch or a kick or something, and that punch has the intensity of all of the hits that he just took. So Rappa 
we know that he can hit hard he has some heavy hands but his durability isn't the best that's why that guy with the shield needed to protect him so i'm sure if there were two rappers going at each other they'd knock each other out because he can't really take his own power clearly as fat gum showed by hitting him with his own strength all of those hits that he took he flipped it around flipped the script on him and knocked him back with it but kirishima kirishima i think jumping in front of him might have bought fat gum enough time to really focus everything into that punch i think kirishima jumping into there even if it didn't buy him time it it sent a message out there i think it helped him kind of prove to himself that he has what it takes and if that barrier wasn't there i don't know he might have put a dent in rapa he might have you know knocked rapa back a bit who knows but we do know that fat gum blew them back both of them he broke through this barrier he knocked rapa back and he knocked back the dude that put the shield there he wasn't even next to rapa and he got blown back so fat gum is just man i think the thing that i love about fat gum so much is the fact that i was not expecting this to be his power i thought that he was just a shield and he clearly showed me like there's that saying out there that like offense is the best defense and fat gum just showed us right here that sometimes defense can be the best offense dude sitting there taking all of those hits and standing tall while doing it gave him the ability to flip the script on him and be that spear that could pierce through that shield and rappa in one blow dude that's what i love about fat gum so much and kirishima the thing i like about him is that clearly at first he didn't like his quirk he hated his quirk even at a certain point but he learned to make his quirk a part of him and to try to refine that quirk better that quirk as he bettered himself and by doing that i feel like he's really like making a lot of progress down the road to becoming a hero acknowledging that whatever quirk you have it doesn't matter if you have bakugo's quirk or if you have uraraka's quirk that do completely different things you can still save lives by just doing something and kirishima realizing that was so key to this moment right here and to the future his future so man what a great episode i'm oh man dude seeing this animated was so sick the tension that built up after the flashback the nice heartwarming flashback seeing kirishima stand tall and seeing fat gum just blow everyone's expectations out of the water this is oh man now now i'm just thinking of all the other awesome moments to come man like everyone is going to get their time to shine and the thing i love about this season is so many people grow so much in so many different ways whether it's by learning new things about their quirks or learning new things about themselves it's so cool seeing so much progress being made in this one season so i can't wait but anyways if you guys enjoyed that episode make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shown content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that i'm going to head out and i will catch you all in the next one have a good one